help me. I'll tell you, you're doing the right thing. I can see your use, and I don't know where you've been. But I do know past failures still haunt you. Thoughtless, slow remarks you later regret. It's hard to own up and take the blame for being a nervous, gibbering wreck. So go on, be a careless fucking onlooker, so you can sit and not think about pain. I know about gasping attacks and mirror blood. I know about shit bags and shame. I know a fuckload more than you realize. A fuck of a lot more than you think. I know why you can take a kiss, but not a bone count hug. I know you bite your fat banana fingernails, and I know why you need to shave. I know you're a fucking slow, fussy, pathetic eater, and I know you don't sleep much. But I, I'll still tell you, it's helping, and I'll still tell you, you're doing the right thing. Question, did you ever hurt yourself to make somebody sorry? How often do you pretend to be sick? You ever wanted something very much but nobody, but never told anybody about it? Are you such a slug you can't live without a fucking Sunday? You ever made a bit too much fuss to over your cuts? Yes, the cutting will be quite dramatic. If you get the crisscross slit light and show an exposed piece of bone, ready for harvest, in a few seconds time, and a drop of anal red the poison, and your totally disgusting, diseased, unkempt, disgusting excuse of a body continues to react. Till mere days after the cutting, the cancer says, well, hello. In between fairground muscle twitches and clearly white scaly shit, Tinker Boy says, burn it out. The little cunt doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, and just weeks after the cutting, you really don't know. How well can you imagine how soon cheap tears are forgotten? Because there's no wasted Kleenex or sympathy. Nobody would give a fucking toss for a quasi-glamour of your symptoms, for your Russell sign, and for your atrocious sleepless lucidity. Because what if they were provoked? It's perfectness and all, it's all there. No more pointless trawling through self-help books for triggering examples. No more daytime trash or drunken wisdom. At first it seems to not be working. Until you get that imitation of danger. That means you can no longer convince yourself it's not worth it. More and more and more. So right now would be a good time for blackmail. Who have you ever tried to make guilty? Have you ever told on anyone? What somebody has told you not to tell? My question. I have said, have you ever told on anyone? Yes, I'll tell you. It's helping. And I'll tell you, you're doing the right thing. More and more you wonder if anyone really gives a fuck. Some, some sometimes feel that. You talk too much. You don't listen enough. Do you admit to letting other people push you around? Who's pushing you around right now? Who's hitting on you now? Who's the pervert hitting on you now, Knuckle Nix? Has he successfully perverted an ethic? Has he destroyed a doll body? I'll show you what it's not like to have hands. And I'll show you how to hold on tight. I'll show you how to piss on your own bedclothes and sit in the closet. You'll learn to sweat while I'm conscious. And I'll show you the electricity stick. You'll learn about the kitty cut before privileged of seeing your own blood. I'll let you suck brown brown and claro. So you know how Papa's so brave. I'll show you the wide awake nightmare. And now you can buy some fucking fear. So you question, can you? Not a person who's like me. Can you? Imagine the difference between their body and yours. Can you? Imagine a person who looks like me. Could you spot a person who looks unlike you? Can you? Spot a person who's born to be me? Can you? Imagine a person who never want to be? Transferring people is a fucking degrading thing to do that. And one day you'll understand that. One day you'll understand that. Cut hands has the solution. We'll feed you to every hungry bird. We'll feed you to every starving animal. And we'll let them eat fat till they're full. And we'll let you drink blood till they're drunk. As I tell you, it's helping. While I tell you, you're doing the right thing.